plantar fibromatosis. It is a benign tumor of the plantar fascia of the foot. It consists of myofibroplast and dense fibrous proliferation infiltrating the adipose tissue. It is myofibroplast and collagen proliferation. It is almost often found in the central and medial portion of the plantar fascia. Here you can see the medial, the central, and the lateral parts of the plantar fascia. Here you can find the plantar aponeurosis and the nodule. The firm nodule is located on the medial border of the sole of the foot. The nodule is close to the skin and gradually increases in size. It is painful with wearing shoes. The condition is bilateral in about 25% of the patient. Early lesions are more cellular. Biopsy could be misdiagnosed as fibrosarcoma. Older lesions have less cells and more collagen. Plantar fibromatosis of the foot is different than palmar fibromatosis of the hand, which causes dubitran contracture. You can see example here of a dubitran contracture from palmar fibromatosis. Plantar fibromatosis and palmar fibromatosis, which is dubitant contracture, both conditions can coexist. There is no contracture with plantar fibromatosis. Plantar fibromatosis can result from fibroblast proliferation with infiltrative growth that's easily recognized clinically. If the mass is suspicious, then an MRI or ultrasound may help with the diagnosis. MRI and ultrasound will also show the extent of the lesion. Ultrasound will show diffuse, discrete, fusiform thickening of the plantar fascia. Lesion can be multiple and bilateral. The superficial fibers are more affected. It is often difficult to differentiate between chronic partial tear and a nodule. There is no relationship between the symptoms and the ultrasound appearance. The ultrasound appearance is usually characteristic. Etiology multifactorial, trauma, familial, diabetes, epilepsy, liver disease, alcohol consumption, and smoking, all can be contributing factors. Plantar fibromatosis occurs in adults and is rare before the age of 30. It occurs more in males than females. Treatment, non-operative, accommodative footwear and inserts. If the lesion is excised, it will lead to a high rate of recurrence. The best treatment is wide resection of the fascia, and that will have a lower recurrence rate, especially with large nodules that cause severe pain or nerve compression. Do not operate on painful nodules at the bottom of the foot, as they may come back worse than before. You must study the nature of the painful nodules before you operate on these nodules and make sure you choose the proper surgery for it. A local lesion will cause recurrence of the lesion due to the infiltrative nature. The lesion is not encapsulated. Postoperative radiation therapy for aggressive fibromatosis was found to improve the local control of the lesion. If the mass appears suspicious, a biopsy may be needed to rule out soft tissue sarcoma, such as synovial cell sarcoma. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.